Welcome back to the Tools for the Trades Monster Jam Mini Truck Build. I'm Dylan McCool, YouTube creator and your store of cars, trucks, and plenty of junk. I'm your host on this journey and we're back for our third monthly update. Now, it's been just over a month since we checked in with the shop class students at Bryan Texas High School and their shop instructor on their Monster Jam Mini Truck Build progress. Now last time, they were working on their chassis and frame to ensure a solid foundation for their one-third scale Monster Jam truck. Now I've heard that most of this work has since been completed, which is good news considering they just have a few more months to complete the build before the big reveal in June. Up next, the engine mount and axle. Let's take a look at the school's progress. We were trying to measure out the holes for the, uh, so we can put a plate underneath the engine so it has something to just hold on to so it won't slide move. The process is we'll measure it out and then once everything's measured, it, we'll measure it a couple times to make sure everything's like perfect. And then once everything is drawn on the computer, measured out, the CNC machine will cut it. Uh, we'll use a CNC machine for mostly like precise small cuts that you can't really make with a torch. There's no like man-made mistakes when it comes to cutting it. And then we'll just make sure there's no like sharp edges, stuff like that. Uh, it'll feel really good to have the mounting plate for the engine because it allows us to branch off to other stuff like at the same time, you know, like once that's done, we could start doing the suspension. Uh, because everything has to be in place where the suspension goes in. These students created an engine mounting plate from start to finish in just one day. And did you see that CNC machine? That is awesome and these kids are talented. And while they were able to pull the mounting plate together quite seamlessly, not everything has been as easy for them. The parts needed to accomplish a build like this are all new to the welding class team. Some of the things I'm looking forward to in the next three weeks are receiving the parts that we are ordering. Um, I'm really excited to see this thing mounted on some wheels. We're actually designing a plate right now for mounting on the motor. The parts that we've ordered right now have been a 44 inch axle. We've ordered the rims for it, uh, steering components, and a seat mount base. The next few months are gonna be pretty intense of move, 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 and get going. The clock's ticking down but I still feel like we're gonna be on schedule and, and we'll make this thing rock. Now some of those key parts on their list are axles and other steering components, but that hasn't stopped the class from drawing up their plans and sharing them with the Monster Jam Race Garage crew, including Monster Jam veteran Bill Easterly and driver Armando Castro and Colt Stevens. Let's take a look at their mentorship session. Is there uh, any particular front axle or do you decide where you're getting it from yet? We're going to make it ourselves here in the shop. We have square tooling that we got donated and we're going to make it ourselves. So I'm guessing uh, with the square two, I mean, it's a great idea. It's easy to work with. So, I mean, all flat sides, so you can easily build brackets off of that. Uh, I'm guessing you're probably going to make some kind of C off the end of it with a bolt or something going through it so that you can run uh, the steering and be able to have it pivot both ways. That'll work really well. Then you can just put a hub off the end. I'm guessing a 4x4 four four flange. Is it going to have a gap between the frame? Are you going to lift it off the frame just a little bit off the bottom uh, rail, or is it going to be mounted directly to the bottom rail itself? Uh, about a foot, about a foot gap. Awesome. So that'll give it that monster truck look. It'll it'll uh, raise it up. It'll look just like a monster jam truck. It'll look really good and probably make it clear those tires. I know you got to work with those fender wells on that fiberglass body. So I'm excited to see how it goes. The biggest thing with that front axle is making sure the steering radius works well. I don't know. What are you thinking as far as steering? Uh, components. Are you going to do like a mechanical style where it's just like a centerpiece that turns a rod, maybe a rack and pinion, something like that? Uh, we have a steering gear box off a of Ranger. Oh, awesome, awesome. So you definitely have to watch the throw and make sure you don't overturn one way or the other because that puts a lot of stress on those bolts, and especially with the bigger tires than normal. So that's going to be cool and see how you guys work through that problem right there. But I think you're on to something really good with the square tube. I think it's going to be nice. Uh, it should be strong and I'm excited. Yeah, man, you guys are making great progress. Um, I really like that it's a it's a pickup truck, not an Escalade body. More of the old school stuff. Like I said, we love that stuff. And uh, yeah, I think you guys are doing a phenomenal job uh, working together, and you guys are really doing a great job. So I'm very very happy to be a part of this, and uh, I'm uh, I'm you guys' cheerleaders to keep on. Uh, I know that you guys going to be facing a lot of difficulties, but I think you guys can come together and uh, you know make it make it work. So I'm looking forward to seeing this thing run on the track. It's great to see Monster Jam making time to provide feedback to these students, even when they're busy traveling to their next big stadium event of the season. Now, 
These students have reached a point where they can't determine the final placement of their North Star 740cc EFI engine until they have the axle, which is in the process of being ordered. In other words, they are at a standstill now until they get these parts and the clock is ticking. While this update feels a bit lighter than last month, get ready because next month, members from the Monster Jam Race Garage crew will be joining our students at the Bryant High School in person for a full work day. Trust me, there's nothing like working side by side and solving challenges together in the shop. When we head to Texas next month to film, I have a feeling we are going to see major progress and that mini truck is going to really start to take shape. Stay tuned next month to see their progress. A special thank you to our Northern Tool and Equipment Tools for the Trade partners, Monster Jam, DeWalt, Ingersoll Rand, and Milwaukee Tool. And thank you for joining us on this journey. Be sure to subscribe to Northern Tool's YouTube channel so you never miss a monthly update.